Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Olga and I make videos on travel and fashion. Today's video is about Romania where I'll be showing you Brasov, Dracula Castle, Palace Castle, Sigisora, Viscri and Bucharest. Piata Spatului, which is also known as Council Square in English, is located in the historic center of Brasov, Romania. It is surrounded by 18th to 19th century houses, most of which are historical monuments. The most important building in the square is the former council house, known as Casa Sfatului, which was built in 1420 and is located in the middle of the square. This now houses the Brasov County Museum of History. Around the main square is the picturesque Pedestrinoli Republiki Street, the Black Church, former council house, indoor and outdoor terraces and restaurants, etc. Turnul Alb, also known as White Tower, is a former defensive tower on Worth Hill which protected the west side of medieval Brasov. The watch tower was built between 1460 and 1494. We could not go inside the tower as it was closed but tourists can visit the tower and also go to the balcony of the tower free of cost. One can view half of the city of Brasov from the balcony of the White Tower. Turnul Negru, also known as the Black Tower, is a fort of Brasov located on Worth Hill on a large rock. We could not visit the Black Tower as the road that leads to it was closed due to the snow on the road. Just opposite to the Black Tower was our next destination. Catherine's Gate in Brasov was built by the Taylor's Guild in 1559 for defensive purposes. It is named after St. Catherine's Monastery that was situated here in former times. It is the original city gate to have survived from medieval time. Our next destination was Strada's Fori which is the narrowest street in the city of Brasov. It is believed to be one of the narrowest streets in Europe too. It is situated near Shy Gate and it was initially built as a corridor that firemen could use. The street looked colourful as there were graffiti designs on both sides of the wall. Biserica Negra, also known as the Black Church, stands in the city of Brasov. This church represents the main Gothic-style monument in the country as well as being one of the most important houses of worship in the region, which belong to the Lutheran, that is the Evangelical Church. This church was originally a Catholic church, but now it's an Evangelical Church. Our next stop was to go to the top of the Tampa Mountain, where the Brasov sign board is. We took a cable car to reach the Tampa Mountains. The tickets for the cable car ride can be purchased from the ticket office located within the building from where cable car ride starts. The ticket costs 10 lei per person one way, which is around 2 euros. So we are at the Tampa Mountains right now. We are walking towards the Brasov sign. Tampa is a mountain located in the southern part of the eastern Carpathians and almost entirely surrounded by the city of Brasov. Its elevation is 960 meters, almost 400 meters above the city. The mountain is mostly made up of limestone formations having risen up gradually from the earth's crust. You can also see the city's view from here but there are a lot of trees so that's not a clear view. It was a small hike towards the Brasov sign from where the whole of the city can be viewed. Can you see the amazing view of the city from here? Okay, we are at the end now of the Tampa Mountains and I'll show you the city view from here. One could see the entire city of Brasov from the top of the Tampa Mountains and the city view from the top looked stunning. After spending considerable amount of time at the mountains, we took a cable car again to go down, went to a cafe in the council square, had some dinner and later went to the hotel. 
On our second day in Romania, we directly headed to Brand Castle in the morning. It was a 45 minutes drive from our hotel to Brand Castle. We saw a market just in front of the entrance to the Brand Castle. In this market, there were small restaurants, shops for buying woolen wear like sweaters, shrugs, woolen caps, gloves, etc. You could also purchase souvenirs from this market. So we are at the Brand Castle now, which is just behind me. You can see. This is also called the Dracula Castle, and it's in the Transylvania region of Romania. Bran Castle is a castle in Bran, 25 km southwest of Brasov. It is a national monument and landmark in Transylvania. This castle is also commonly known as Dracula's Castle outside Transylvania. It is often referred to as the home of the title character in Bram Stoker's Dracula. Tourists can see the interior on their own or by a guided tour. After visiting Bran, we had plans to head to Sigisora for the day. Before heading back, we made a small stop to an old village called Viskri. Viskri is one of the oldest villages in Brasov County and all of Transylvania. It is also one of the most beautiful Saxon villages in Transylvania. We could see hens, dogs and cats running here and there on the road. This road will take us to the Viskri fortified church. The Viskri Fortified Church is a Lutheran fortified church in Viskri. It was built by the ethnic German Transylvanian Saxon community at a time when the area belonged to the Kingdom of Hungary. Initially Roman Catholic, it became Lutheran following the Reformation. The church is very old and has wooden interiors. The church is also listed as a historic monument by Romania's Ministry of Culture and Regional Affairs. After exploring the church in Viskri, we headed directly for Sigisora. Sigisora is a city on Tarnava Mare River in Mures County, Romania. Sigisora is a popular tourist destination and is famous for its well-preserved walled old town which is listed by UNESCO as a world heritage site. Bollywood movie songs have been shot in Sigisora. It is an old city with unique charm never seen before. It is also a colorful city which hosts many restaurants, boutiques, souvenir shops, etc. It's still authentic as it's largely inhabited. Turnul Kusis, also known as the Clock Tower of Sigisora, is the main entry point to the citadel. With its 64 meters of height, the tower is visible from almost every corner of the city from Mures County. Its purpose was to defend the main gate of citadel. It also served as the town hall until 1556. Now it is considered as one of the most expressive clock tower in the whole Transylvania region. We started walking towards our next destination which was the Biserica Dendil. Before I tell you about this Biserica, let me tell you a little bit about the covered stairway which leads to the Biserica. The covered stairway, also known as Collar Stairs, is a historic site built in 1642 to connect the lower and upper parts of citadels in Sigisora. The main purpose of the covered stairs is to avoid snow in winter time as these stairs lead to a school and hill on the church. Earlier, 300 steps were constructed but now only 176 stairs remain. Biserica Dindil, also known as the Church on the Hill, is the most important monument of religious architecture in Sigisora. It is also the third largest church in Transylvania. Ropemaker's Tower is one of the nine towers inside a citadel which has been currently turned as a guardhouse for symmetry. You can also see mesmerizing view of the Mures County from the top.
Biserica Swanta Trim, also known as the Holy Trinity Church, is an Orthodox Christian church located in Sigisora. It was built in 1934 and was designed in the Neo Byzantine style. After exploring Sigisora, we directly headed to Palace Castle. Palace Castle is a Neo Renaissance castle in Carpathian Mountains near Sinai in Prahova County, Romania. Its inauguration was held in 1883. The castle is a 40 minute drive from Brasov. It is one of the most beautiful looking castle I have ever seen till date. No trip to Romania would be complete without a visit to Palace Castle. Our next destination was Sinaya Monastery which was merely a 10 minute drive from the Palace Castle. The Sinaya Monastery is also located in Sinaya in the Prahova County, Romania and it was founded in 1695 and named after the great St. Catherine's Monastery. After visiting Sinaya Monastery, we headed back to Bucharest. I am standing in front of this famous building called the Palace of Parliament which is one of the important buildings in Bucharest, Romania. It is the heaviest building in the world and is also the largest building after Pentagon in the entire world. The Palace of Parliament, also known as the Republic's House or People's House or People's Palace, is the seat of Parliament of Romania, which is located in Bucharest, the national capital. The construction of the palace began in 1984 and it remains uncompleted to this day. The Palace of the Parliament sinks 6 mm in each year due to its weight. Arcul de Triumph is a triumphal arc located in the northern part of Bucharest on the Kiself Road. The arch has a height of 27 meters and it was inaugurated in 1936. The arch looks beautiful at night with all the lights on it and there is a Romanian flag mounted on top of the triumph. The Arcul de Triumph is more closely modeled to the Arc de Triumph in Paris design. Romanian Athenaeum is a concert hall in the center of Bucharest, Romania and a landmark of the Romanian capital city. The ornate domed circular building opened in 1888 and is the city's most prestigious concert hall. The overall style is a neoclassical with some more romantic touches. Inside the ground floor hosts an ornate conference hall as large as the auditorium above. In the auditorium, there are 600 seats in the stalls and the interior, especially the ceiling, had a stunning design. Our next stop was the Villa Cross Passage. We are standing in front of the Villa Cross Passage in Bucharest, Romania. It was built in 1891. It's written right over there. Come. Villa Cross Passage is a fork-shaped yellow glass-covered arcaded street in central Bucharest. This street hosts many restaurants and bars where you can eat, drink and also do shisha. It's a beautiful passage with yellow lighting on top. Karcharesti Carousel is a bookstore located in the old town of Bucharest. It belongs to the Romanian bookstore chain Karcharesti and was built at the beginning of the 20th century. This library stands different from the bookstores or libraries I have visited until now. I have always imagined libraries having an ancient look and design. This library looked very different because of its bright light, white furnitures as well as colorful design. This library was glowing with colors and is one of the most beautiful looking libraries I have seen till date. Overall, our Romanian experience was incredibly good. Everyone was friendly and nice to us. People in Romania speak good English so it was easy to communicate with them. I hope today's video on Romania was enjoyable and insightful for you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such travel inspirational videos. Thank you so much guys for watching.